Welcome to Lecture 27, Mariachi. The mariachi is probably the most famous music of Mexico and actually considered a national treasure in Mexico. For years, authorities believed the word mariachi or its variant mariache uh, was an indigenous Mexican word, but recent evidence points to a mix between Spanish and indigenous origin. And uh, there was one thought that at one time it was uh, similar to the French word for marriage, but uh, I think that's been dispelled at this point. The earliest written examples of the word date from the early 1800s, where it's found as a place name, actually. In the later 19th century, reference to this term tended to associate it with the rule fiesta, also known as the fandango or the mitote, and with the tarima, a wooden platform that couples would dance upon uh, to the accompaniment of some early forms of mariachi music. Mariachi is a genre of regional Mexican music that dates to at least the 18th century, evolving over time in the countryside of various regions of western Mexico. So you can see that in the map here, right along the coastal region. And it likely originated as son mexicano, or Mexican sound song. It likely originated in Veracruz with a major son tradition in this state along with La Juan. Along with the Huasteca region, the Pacific coast of Ofuerero and Oaxaca, Mihochan and Jalisco, where it morphed into mariachi. We're looking at then an evolution of music that has Spanish influence, indigenous people's influence, and then as the culture evolves, this becomes celebratory music and very interesting music along the coast of Western and Central Mexico. And it probably evolved from son, and son is the Spanish word for sound. And so el son de la negra, which is the song of the dark lady, is the most famous son in Mexico. It's almost considered like the second national anthem. And here are the lyrics, and you can read these lyrics at your leisure, but it's really interesting. And it's all about the dark lady and of my sorrows, the eyes fluttering like paper in the wind. Very poetic and very beautiful. And then, Son Jalisciense. This is a variety of Mexican son music from which modern mariachi music is derived. Now, Son Jalisciense developed to be played with one fijuela, two violins, and a guitarron, which replaced the harp. Now we'll look at those instruments. So the mariachi instruments are vocals, guitars, guitarron, which is like a big bass guitar with the same shape as a regular guitar, almost looks like a, a, a lute in a way, but it's very large. A vihuela, which is a smaller guitar, and we heard about that from Spain and in France the trumpet, the violin, and then the harp. So think about this for a moment. All of these instruments migrated from Spain to Mexico in, um, with the conquistadores, but the rhythms and all of the language, it morphed together with the indigenous population. And so the chordophones are the guitar, which we're very well aware of. And then they look at the vihuela, and that's the picture here in the middle. It's a smaller guitar and used for really interesting rhythmic patterns. Then the guitarron I mentioned earlier, that's the bass sound. It's the fundamental sound of the mariachi. Then violin is used very, very frequently, sometimes one player, sometimes many players. And that's true with other instruments as well. And then the harp is also a traditional instrument, and it kind of depends on the group whether that's used today or not. The arophones are the trumpet and vocals. And the vocals are amazing. They're all in harmony, usually sung by men. They can be sung by women as well. But it's absolutely beautiful harmony and uh, sung with tremendous spirit. And then trumpet is played by quite accomplished virtuoso professional players that do some amazing things on trumpet, and I'll demonstrate some of those things in class. So the mariachi culture characteristics are these. It's performed for weddings, festivals, fiestas, 
religious events, casual entertainment, celebrations and parties, national or regional events, and occasionally, um, like I said, in a religious event, like a wedding sometimes. Now, the nice thing about this is the portability of these instruments. There, uh, there's no need to take on any electronics with it, though almost all the bands now are mic'd, and that provides just a real nice sound in a certain location. And then the music is high in formality and arousal, as you might expect, and occasionally high in religiosity, depending on the occasion. So your assignment you're aware of, watch the videos, participate in the lectures, take the quiz on Google Docs, and please make up all of those Google Docs. We're getting more close to the end of the semester. See you in class. Thank you.